Hi doctors, my friend has stage 1 lung cancer. What are the symptoms, treatment and life expectancy of stage 1 lung cancer? What is stage 1 lung cancer? If the lung cancer is confined to the lung, less than 3 cm in size, not involving any adjacent structures like the diaphragm, pericardium or the chest wall, and if it has not spread to lymph nodes or anywhere else in the body, then you belong to stage 1 lung cancer. So how are we going to identify you? Most of the patients uh, won't present to doctor in these stages because they will be totally asymptomatic or they might be presenting with only very few symptoms like a cold, sometimes blood in the sputum or some pain in the chest, difficulty in breathing. Generally, early stage lung cancers won't produce any kind of symptoms. Most of the times, they will be screen detected. When they do a chest x-ray, they might notice a small lesion or if any screening CT thorax is done, during that time we might locate these lesions which are pretty small in size without spread to anywhere else in the body. So how are we going to treat them? Surgery is going to be the mainstay of treatment in these patients. So we will be operating on you and we will be removing the part of the lung which has this tumour. And along with this, we will also be going to remove the lymph nodes draining to those areas. After that, if required, we might be starting you on any adjuvant treatment that is in the form of chemotherapy or if required, radiation therapy. The importance of detecting cases in stage 1 is the prognosis is going to be very good. For example, patients belonging to stage 1A lung cancers, that is the lesion less than 1 cm in size, such patients have 5 year survival rate above 92%. And overall, stage 1 lung cancers have survival rate above 80%. So that's the importance of early detection. Stage 1 lung cancer is a very, very early disease. And these are the patients who tend to do very well. Most of the times in stage 1, we may be able to get a cure. Why am I using the word maybe? It's because lung cancer is an aggressive disease. And if you are not treating it very, very aggressively, there is a risk of recurrence as well. Now, how often are we able to cure the lung cancers? I, you know, approximately we should say about more than 80% of the times stage 1 cancers can be cured. So that is the prognosis of this. Now coming to the treatment aspect of it, the main treatment of stage 1 lung cancer is surgery. And what is called as lobectomy. Lobectomy is the involved lung lobe, lung is divided into five lobes, three on the right and two on the left. Now that involved lobe of the lung has to be removed along with the lymph nodes. And that is the surgery or the, that is the treatment of lung cancer. Now once that surgery is performed, there are situations when a chemotherapy or a targeted therapy may be required. In fact, there are newer drugs which are coming to the market even for a stage 1 cancer today. There are many drugs or what are called as targeted therapies which are basically tablets which have shown exceptionally good results over the years and these targeted therapies can be taken for long term in order to get a controlled or very good control over the disease and this is effective only after surgery. So stage 1 disease is treated with surgery followed by target therapy in some cases. Stage 1 lung cancer is very often diagnosed accidentally because the disease is very small there are hardly any symptoms that it causes. So it is either diagnosed by a screening CT scan or when the person does an x-ray or any other test for some other reason. Sometimes even stage 1 cancers can cause symptoms based on the location where they are. There are times when they may be very close to the trachea or what is called as the airway. They can irritate that area and cause cough. Sometimes they can cause bleeding like blood in the sputum. So there are times when these ones cause symptoms and the patient comes to the hospital because of that. So it is not always that the patient with stage 1 is asymptomatic or without symptoms. There are times when there can be symptoms as well.